Science is making humans smarter with innovation. It is not replacing them. All the codes that you are asking ChatGPT to write was always there on internet. All the fitness plans that you are getting on ChatGPT was always there. It has just changed the methodology of searching them. A lot of people are scared that ChatGPT will take their jobs, but as a matter of fact, it won't. Which is why in this video, we are going to be talking about five important stuff that ChatGPT cannot do. Also, in this video, I would like to introduce you to Bright Data. It turns website into structured data that can help you in your next big project with the aspect of proxy network, web scraping, and ready to use data sets. Comment below and I would love to make a complete video about Bright Data. But now let's get back to ChatGPT. Now ChatGPT cannot master in making strategy, creativity, and empathy-based social skills. Also, which is why I'm going to bring my point number one that ChatGPT cannot do. Now, ChatGPT cannot be creative. Now, this is something that we need to stand out. AI cannot create, conceptualize, or plan strategically. AI is great at optimizing for a narrow objective, I do accept it, but it is unable to choose its own goal to think creatively. Nor can AI think across domains or generate unique or creative uh, solutions for a problem statement, you can say. While robots can perform tasks that are require physical coordination, such as assembling small parts, AI is still unable to do so. This is because such tasks require a combination of physical movement and sensory feedback, which is difficult to re replicate in machines. Therefore, tasks such as cooking, cleaning, or surgery are still not fully automated by AI. Well, if someday AI can clean or cook bachelor college students, uh, you know, they can finally focus on what really matters, that is procrastinating and binge watching Netflix. Just kidding. This brings us to the second point. Like I say a lot of times that there is no alternative for human stupidity. For that, we need to develop a common sense, which comes with a lot of lessons sometimes. Large language models have proven themselves to have been incredibly uh, capable across a wide range of tasks in NLP, that is natural language processing. But common sense reasoning is a domain in which these models continue to underperform compared to humans. Interestingly, I believe some amount of humans are in the race with AI to underperform in terms of common sense. Uh, but apart from them, there is no shortage of examples that expose deep learning's lack of common sense. For instance, uh, Silicon Valley entrepreneur Kevin Lacker asked JPT3 long back ago that OpenAI's state-of-the-art language model that, uh, you know, which is heavier, a toaster or pencil. Now, I'm sure they have fixed it now, but at a time, he asked that to ChatGPT and the answer that came up uh, from ChatGPT was wrong. Uh, I mean, to a human, even a small child, the answer is obvious that a toaster, uh, but GPT's response was a pencil is heavier than a toaster. I knew they have fixed this because now they have the data set and, the and now they have a critical thinking that way. But again, this is something that can be answered by a common sense by anyone out there. Well, that's a little uncalled for a G-smart job snatching AI. Humans possess mental models of these objects. We understand what a toaster is and what a pencil is. In our mind's eye, we can picture each object, envision to its shape and size, imagine what it would feel like to hold it in our hands, and definitely conclude that a toaster weighs more. By contrast, in order to answer the questions like this, GPT-3 relies on statistical patterns captured in training datasets uh, because it's uh, because definitely it brought swaths of text from the internet uh, because there is evidently not much discussion on internet about the relative uh, weights of a toaster and pencil thank goodness there isn't chat gpt3 is unable to grasp this basic fact about the world third point is understanding cause and effect you know when it comes to understanding the casual mechanism the real world dynamic, today's AI is at a loss. To give a simple example, if fed the right data, a machine learning model would have no problem identifying the birds singing when the sun rises, but it would be unable to establish whether the bird singing causes the sun to rise or vice versa. Indeed, it is not equipped to even understand the terms of distinction. 
You know, casual reasoning is an essential part of human intelligence. Shaping how we make sense of and interact with our world, we know that dropping a vase will call it to shatter. The drinking coffee will make us feel energized. That exercising regularly will make us healthier. Watching this video is making us and the whole community smarter. So this is a real problem for AI. Until it can reason casually, it will have trouble on fully understanding the world and communicating with us on our terms. Fourth point that AI cannot understand is understanding a humor and sarcasm. While AI has made a progress in understanding natural language, it still struggles with humor, irony and sarcasm. Now these forms of communication often rely on context and cultural knowledge, you know, which can be difficult for AI to guess. For example, a human can understand that the phrase, I love standing in the line at the DMV is likely sarcastic. But an AI language model may not be able to pick up on this subtle clue. Well, this seems that AI might not be the best audience or a judge for a stand-up comedy comic. Fifth thing that AI cannot do is to possess human-like emotions and empathy. While AI cannot recognize facial expression and tone of voice, uh, it does not truly understand human emotions or possess empathy. AI lacks the ability to connect with human on a personal level. Seems pretty ironic by looking at the number of AI tools releasing every day and cannot replicate the nuance of human interaction. Now, incapable? Yes, this is something that AI cannot do. Empathy and emotional intelligence are critical skills in many professions, such as healthcare and counseling, and AI is not yet capable of replacing humans in these roles. A great example of this is Nadia, a chatbot used by Australian government to help people access the National Disability Insurance Scheme. Although Nadia can interpret speech and expression with an 85% accuracy rate, but she cannot understand the emotions they carry. With zero emotional intelligence, Nadia simply processes the request and responds rationally. Now, whether the caller is crying, yelling, or speaking sweetly, her response is same. Now imagine if the patient needs a psychologist and the AI is speaking to the patient in a robotic voice, this is going to be a very big disaster. So AI taking your jobs? No. We will see more of such libraries in future as well, but we can make ourselves aware with them so that we can stick to the agenda of science. Making humans smarter with innovation. What are your thoughts about it? Let me know what EA cannot do from your eye. But that's it for this video. I'll see you again tomorrow with another interesting video. And don't forget to subscribe and share this with someone who is having a debate in between AI replacing humans. That's it for today, folks. I'll see you again tomorrow.